What is up guys? It's a great day. The giveaway has obviously ended and it's time for a new tutorial. So to join in you had to comment your favorite melodic bass track to the AO5 Super Saw tutorial that I had released at the beginning of this month. And now I have picked two random winners who will be getting a free copy of Alchemy Priest Pack for a while. Who the winners are? The winners are... So, the winners are... Ropsu and Tse Sofamortu. Uh, congrats to winners. Please reach out to me via Instagram, email or maybe Facebook and I will send you your free copy of Alchemy Priest Pack for Widow. This giveaway was a really great way for me to give you guys something for being such a great audience and I really hope the winners enjoy the pack. It's been making in the making for almost a year, like six months to a year and I put a lot of effort into the pack so once again congrats and I hope you guys enjoy. Now, for today's tutorial, we are going to make a really classic EDM plug up sound. A few weeks ago, or maybe a couple months ago, I released this EDM lead up tutorial. This is more of a background apragio or chord up. This is really classic sound, and I think you guys should know how to make it. I have a lot of these in the Alchemy Priest Pack for Vital, so if you are if you are liking this sound, take a look at the Alchemy. There's a lot of really cool blocks that you can use on your own productions. But without further ado, let's dive to the tutorial. Welcome to the door guys. We are here in FL Studio. I have this Tech House trans track that I'm trying to create and plug it up for and today I'm going to show you guys how to create cool plugs for EDM let me showcase to you guys this track really fast and then we will start with the plug You guys get the idea, I have here a couple other sections, this is sort of the intro, then we have verse and build up to the second drop and let's begin with the up and I have this um, lucky sequence over here and originally I thought that I would use sounds from Alchemy Priest Pack for Vital that I just recently released. But I decided to do this tutorial to show you, case you guys, how you can make EDM plugs with Vital. And today we are going to create this plug from scratch. And it's going to be really useful for like all sorts of EDM genres, from trans EDM to dubstep, whatever. Um, the original plucky sequence that I had in here sounds like this and it's using these patches from Alchemy as I mentioned. We have this main patch. And then we have this Formal of Chaos uh, kinda layer 2 patch. And you get there, they create this really cool like uh, combination of blocks that really stands out, even top of this really crazy bass line, like in here. That's not what we are going to do today. I'm going to 
initialize the preset and we are going to use the same MIDI. So this and I'm going to take out the chord changes or maybe we could do with the chord, do it with the chord changes. I'm going to mute the baseline for now. And also I'm going to mute all of these effects. Here we have initialized preset. The world is our oyster and it's time to start shaping this up. Now I'm going to use basic shapes. For this one, I'm going to pop up the voices. Now, in the past, like with Silent or some of the older synths, you only had seven voices, but here we can go up to 16 voices. And you can kind of hear what this does. If you want smoother detune, you can pump up the voices, play with the detune. But after like 12, 10 or 12, it gets a little bit harder to hear the difference. But this really puts strain on your computer, the more voices you have. So we are going to use something like 9. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, I'm going to lead the detune around 10, let's say. That's perfect for our first oscillator. Let's add another oscillator and I'm going to transpose this one octave up. Now there's two ways to approach this. We could just lower the level. And call it a day. But I think I'm going to detune this oscillator as well. That way we get that really nice detuned top layer and let's actually pick basic shapes for this one as well. It doesn't really change too much but at least the phases are uh, uh, in the same direction. Third oscillator, kind of optional. We could use this as a sort of base layer for this one. It kind of depends on how you are going to use this. You could use separate bass um, plug or bass synth, but let's say this is our main synth and we're only going to have some sort of sub underneath, then it's really useful to have um, this third oscillator playing the bass notes. <laughs> this is one of the really cool things about Vidal. You have three oscillators to play with. It's it's so cool and that's why I really haven't gone back to Serum after the Waddle came out. And for this one we could do some detune but I really do not think it's going to benefit this sound but let's let's try it let's do some modest voicing with slight detune Once again the detune kind of smooths out the sound so. It's, 
is good defect, so let's go with it. Really basic stuff. Let's add white noise. We will come back to this and shape it up just a little bit. Now, this doesn't sound very plucky. We could do envelope one, which changes the volume envelope of of the of the white all. And that kind of does the job, but what I usually like to do is to use filters and envelope 2 so I can have different envelopes for the filtering and the volume. Let me just assign this to the cutoff and let's just pick this really basic like up setup for the envelope filter. And as you can see, I routed white noise to filter two. So in at this point, I'm going to route it to the filter one from here. So now the white noise noise goes to filter two and then to filter one. And that fixes our noise problem. Mm, let's assign macro to the amount of envelope 2 on the cutoff and we are going to pop up the envelope amount. Now this macro one knob controls our cutoff. And it's controlling the cutoff by um, controlling this envelope range. Um, that's pretty good. We have a little bit too much resonance depending on our track and I'm going to move the cutoff to somewhere around 40 maybe. This is kind of where you have to play with the cutoff, like you could pump it up a little bit higher, bring down the envelope amount. But I'm going to have it really low in here and then just control the amount with the cutoff. Now I'm going to also have a second, uh, I mean third envelope for the level of white noise. That's pretty good. And I'm going to change up the filter to, um, to be high pass filter. And we are going to leave it around 7K. Now only the high end of white noise is getting through. That's pretty good. I like it. Um, let's move to effects. Now we have this really basic setup for our plug ready and it's time to move to effects. Now with the effects we are really going to do quite basic stuff since this is more so like chords slash R plug 
it's meant to be like primarily as a supporting e element but you can go crazy with this if you would like to easy way to modify effects is to pump up the mix all the way to 100 change up the parameters and then play with the mix Then I'm going to add maybe a little bit of distortion. Now, if you are using this as a chord plug, like playing multiple chords, be really careful with the distortion. Usually it doesn't work really well, but if you are using this plug as an op, you can get away with distortion more easily. I noticed that I have this reverb in here and also some EQ, so I'm going to take those out so that it's just the plain sound. And here you can kind of hear a one problem that arises with this filter setup. So you might have to use the effect filter for the block if you are doing a lot of like distinctive effecting like using compressors or distortions. We might get away by using the voice filter one, but if it starts to, uh, if the effects start to hinder our filter one, we might have to use this filter inside of uh, the effect section. Thank you. 
Then some EQ. If we need more punch, we can use this EQ and high band as a sort of booster. Pretty good. Um, then some reverb. Once again, I have a couple vital reverb tutorials which go really in depth to the reverb in vital. So check those out if you want to learn how to use vital's reverb, reverb like pro. Um, here we are just going to do the quick basic stuff, but if you want to know how and why I do certain things. Check out those tutorials. They they do cover everything, so there's no point in repeating myself in here. For the sake of this tutorial, we can try out the effect filter method by having the filter be up here, I think, at this point, yeah, maybe all like this. So once again, we will take this envelope, have this around for the lower the resonance, add cutoff to the amount, pump up the amount, and voila. This actually works better, and now we can even play with the um, compressor a little bit. And let's test it out with the baseline. So this is what we came up with. it kind of falls apart in this part because we have the different baseline so i think that's the tutorial and i hope you guys enjoyed learned something new and once again congrats to the winners of the giveaway the feedback on alchemy has so far has been so good i'm really happy on how that turned out it really motivates me to work on new stuff on new music new uh, priest packs and i I sincerely hope that the winners find the pack useful and I'd be really interested to hear you guys' feedback on Alchemy. So if you bought the pack or if you want to give away, let me know your thoughts on it. I, I'm really interested to hear so I can create better products um, in the future. Now, with that being said, I thank you guys for your time and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye.